Hi everyone, it's me Lindsay again with Equip Me OT here today to talk about walkers. And more specifically, I'm going to be talking about walker accessories. So these walkers that I'm going to be going over today are your standard walkers. And uh, this one I have here by Nova, comes in a fancy blue, but they all typically come in this silver model, which is by Guardian. There's also Drive Medical and several other different varieties, but they're all roughly similar as far as their construction and the way you use them. So today specifically, I want to go over the various parts of the walker and how they can be accessorized so that they're more practical for your needs. So as we always say in the rehab world, the best walker is a used walker. So if you're going to be using a walker, you want it to be functional so that you can use it in all aspects of your life to maximize its safety benefits for you and prevent falls. So let's show you a few things that are really important about a walker like this. So let's start by going ahead and showing you the most basic part, which are the feet. So let's start with the wheels. As you can see on this guy here, we've got these standard wheels. These do not pivot, they do not move, they simply roll in one direction. These are my favorite. Um, this design is the most practical and it's the most safe. You can get them with, you can switch them to be without wheels at any point. They should come with a set of pegs that could be added to the front and make this a no wheeled walker, which is useful in very specific scenarios when you do not want the walker sliding away from the individual using them at all. This is typically in situations where somebody's putting their full or a great deal of body weight into a walker for standing balance. Either they have really, really poor uh, balance or perhaps they're non weight bearing and are using the walker more like a crutch. Or set of crutches. So that is an option. They also come in a very small wheeled variety. These I find to be the most ineffective as far as their practicality. Those small wheels get caught up on just about everything. Carpet, grout lines, any kind of threshold or crack in the sidewalk. So these bigger wheels are nice. The other option is a pivoting wheel. Now the pivoting wheel has a very specific function as well and the pivoting wheel allows you to walk with your walker sideways or in very very tight quarters where you got to be making a very tight circle. That is useful in those situations but it's also a little less safe so it's going to give you a little more instability. This walker is really perfect for the largest number of people and it's why I selected it for this video. So now that we've talked about the wheels let's talk about the feet. So the back feet on a walker it's very important to consider your options. The typical walker feet are going to look just like this. You're going to have a rubber tip and it's really no fuss, no muss. Now they all come with an added accessory of this very smooth, hard plastic cap. What that does is allow them to slide more easily. The rubber is grippy and if you're pushing it along just about any flooring type, it's going to get stuck up. So adding this nice smooth piece here is going to allow you to move more smoothly. Now there's an upgrade to that to allow you to be even more smooth across the floor and that's the walker skis. They are literally little plastic feet that are put into the bottom of your walker. I have them here and they look like little skis and what they do is they're very smooth plastic and they curve up at the front and that's an important design feature because it allows them not to get caught up on rugs or threshold changes. Um, so what I'm going to show real quick here is the difference. So this one right here just has your standard feet and as I approach the rug here you can see it can get caught on it and that catching can cause you to trip, stumble, and fall which isn't great. With the skis in place you can push up to the edge of that rug and it will simply go right over it without catching the edge. An alternative for that is the classic tennis balls. I love that you can buy these pre-slit. Obviously you can use any tennis ball. These aren't anything fancy, but they literally just go over top of the cap on this through there and it will do the same thing in providing you a little bit extra smoothness of, of movement. These work pretty well. I think the skis are a little bit easier to manage as the fuzz on these tends to get caught up on, on very um, tight woven nap carpets. So these work on a, on a hardwood floors or a really beautiful tile. These work awesome, but the skis are better on carpet. So there's the feet. Now we're going to go over some of the additional accessories. As an OT, I'm always looking at making sure people are very functional with their hand positioning and wrists because we often are dealing with folks who have pre-existing conditions like 
uh, carpal tunnel or arthritis. And walking with a walker can be very painful on that. So one of the solutions for that is to purchase, and I'm going to put a picture up here, a neoprene coated pad that actually attaches to the grips on the walker handles. These grips have no padding to them. They have a little bit of grip as far as a rubberized texture, but by adding that cushion, it can really support and prevent that wear and tear on the palm and wrist of your hand. Now, I have made many of these by myself. I've actually never purchased a pre-made pad for a walker handle. One of the solutions I've used really frequently is cylindrical foam. This is a piece of foam that's typically used for, like say, uh, um, adding grip to a utensil or a pen or a pencil or a marker, but you can cut a slit in the middle of it and simply add it by wrapping it around the handle here, and that's gonna give you a nice bit of cushion and a little more grip to help with your ability to hold onto the handle. Another popular solution that I've used, which uses it products that you may have right in your own home, is simply taking a low, not a super fluffy hand towel like this, and you're gonna wrap it around the handle there, and then just attach it with a piece of painter's tape or whatever you have. The nice thing about this, it is really easy to take care of. It gets a little dirty, you take it off, you throw it in the washing machine, you put a fresh one on. So this works as well. Always know if you're dealing with somebody who has decreased grip strength that a slightly wider grip is usually easier, but always take into consideration the functional grip you have. But these are two great solutions for that, and most of the time you have these right in your home. So let's jump into some more fancy uh, accessories you can get for your walker. The most, most of my clients end up wanting some sort of transport um, shelf like this. This is a tray made by, um, this is by the same manufacturer as this, this is by Nova, it's about $20. It comes with a nice simple application, slides over your handles, works great, costs you about $20, and it's going to give you some place to put your drinks and all of that. But for $20, it has that purpose, it works well. I have an alternative here that I've used before that I wanted to show you guys. Simple baking sheet. So this one has some rounded edges and it's the right width. You may have to monkey around with what you have, but this one is literally out of my baking sheet supply, so don't mind it's a little bit of a dirty baking sheet because I bake. But it fits perfectly in between your handlebars. Ta-da! And I already had this right in my own home, so I saved myself $20. Now, just a little, uh, this is a little OT hack here. This Dyson product, this double-sided, super grippy rubber product, works really nice on either the purchased um, tray or your homemade tray. By simply setting it in place, it allows you to put your plate down, and it's not going to slide around on you, versus without it, it slides around quite a bit. So the tray is really useful. With either of these options, you're not supposed to be walking around the whole house with a tray in place all the time. The tray is for specific use, and then it is meant to be removed. Because with the tray, I can't get into my walker to walk with it close enough to my body, so it's going to tend to cause me to want to crouch over or push the walker too far out front. So the tray is a temporary thing. It's not meant to stay in place all the time. That is where the... I'll show you, I can take this right off here the walker bag or basket comes into play. So you can see over here on this beautiful Nova, I have the matching Nova vinyl bag. This Velcro's into place, it's really sturdy, it has a large pocket, several small pockets, works really well for transporting items. Another option I have is the walker basket. Um, it comes with a couple of little clips that actually allow it like that to clip into position. And because it doesn't fill the whole area, I can walk around with this on my walker and it's not going to affect the walker's functionality. So a bag is a really nice option. Now, if you don't have the walker basket or the bag, which will set you back between $20 and $40, depending on the bells and whistles, you can make your own. So, a simple reusable shopping bag. You want one that's slightly wider than it is deep because the depth will make it harder for you to reach down and grab things out of it but I got this one for free, it was a handout. And all you do is take it, wrap it around the handle here. And it's not going to be nearly as beautiful as the nice one that came with this Nova Walker, but it's very practical. And by all intents and purposes, it was free. 
So what I did is just mounted that there. So now I can put the items I need to transport, my cell phone, um, a water bottle, things like that in there. So I'm not having to figure out how to carry it with me when I walk with my walker, which is a big challenge with this type of standard walker. Okay, so a few extra accessories that are kind of fun. You can also get these cane holders or item holders. This would clip to the actual bar on your walker here and then you would slide your cane in it. This is really useful for folks who are using their cane in addition to their walker in different situations, so you need to have it with you. This will set you back a little bit. Another really great solution is Velcro. So you use a good strip of Velcro, stick it to one side, stick it to the cane, stick the mated part of the Velcro to the walker, stick them together, works beautifully, really easy to use. I also love doing that with your reacher or grabber tool. You can then Velcro that to your walker as well. Always have what you need with you. The walker becomes an indispensable tool that way. Another cool thing that I've been doing is using these little LED lights. This one happens to be magnetic, which I love because it allows it to be taken off and used elsewhere. Simply apply your magnetic strip, which is double-sided tape, to your walker. Stick your light right to it. This thing was $10 on Amazon. It is motion activated. So in the dark, it will sense movement and automatically turn on, which is awesome for our folks who maybe have a higher risk of falling in the dark. So now this thing will turn on as I get up to move to maybe venture to the bathroom in the night. So it's a go along with you night light. This is awesome. So $10, super, super easy. So there you have it. A bunch of ideas for ways to accessorize your walker to make it more functional and as always to keep you safer and more independent in your home and community. If you got some value out of this video consider giving me a thumbs up and as always if you more, need more information like this consider subscribing to Equip Me OT. Thank you.